Hi, I'm Tiana. Welcome back to my channel. I've had a lot of new subscribers join the family recently, and I just want to take a moment to say, I see you. I see you. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm glad you're here, and welcome. Speaking of my amazing subscribers, this video comes to you by request from Subby Danielle Brown. Hi babe, I hope you enjoy this video all about study tips. Guys, I didn't realize how many study tips I had until I started filming this video. So instead of creating one long drawn out video about study tips, I decided to split this video into a two part series. So this is the first part of that series and it covers how to study prior to and during your lecture. Part two of this series covers how to study after your lecture to ace your exam. So if you wanna conquer nursing school, watch both parts of this series all the way till the end so that you can hear all of my secrets on how I got A's in nursing school. Studying really does begin prior to your lecture date. What I mean by this is, in order to be successful in school, you need to have a broad understanding of the material before you even step into your classroom. By doing this, you familiarize yourself to the content, which makes comprehension of the material a little easier and a little faster. The day before my lecture, I always pulled out my textbook and skimmed through the chapters that we were going to cover the next day. I'm not saying that you need to read every single chapter word for word. No. The goal here is to study smarter, not harder. Just read anything that is bold or italicized. Make sure you pay special attention to any graphics, tables, or boxes. If your instructor posts PowerPoints, prior to their lecture, make sure that you print those out and review those as well. You want to have a basic understanding of the material. You don't need to have an in-depth comprehension at this point. I really just want you to be exposed to the content prior to your lecture. I always printed my PowerPoints vertically with three slides to a page in note format. By limiting the number of slides to three per page, I was able to read everything that was on each slide. And by printing them in note format, it left me adequate space to jot down notes. After trying several different formats, this is the one that I found to be the most practical for ease of use. Take it from a Dean's List Nursing School student. If you read something that's bold or highlighted in some way in your book, and then you see that same thing on your PowerPoint, then you are definitely going to see it on your exam. I'll say that again so you really get the emphasis here. If you read the same information more than once, you're gonna see it again on a future exam. When your instructors do that, it's almost like they're giving you a freebie. Take advantage of that. So take advantage of that and create a flashcard for that information right away so that you can begin studying and preparing for your next exam. In addition to keeping blank note cards within reach, it's a great idea to keep your sticky notes within reach while you're skimming through that material. These will come in handy for jotting down notes, key terms, or questions that you want to bring up during your lecture. Going into your lecture prepared with that general understanding of the material means that instead of trying to understand the material during your lecture, you are better able to absorb the information that your instructor deems important enough to cover in their lecture. In other words, because you prepared yourself prior to your lecture, you already have a nice foundation. So in class, all you have to do is solidify and build upon that foundation. Earlier, I mentioned the importance of printing out your PowerPoints prior to your lecture. Make sure you bring those PowerPoints to your lecture so that you can jot your notes directly onto them. A lot of my classmates brought their personal laptops to class and just typed out their notes. While this is faster, I don't recommend it. I actually tried it for a week and I realized that my comprehension of the material just wasn't as thorough. So I did a little bit of research because I wanted to know why it seemed like when I typed out my notes, I wasn't able to recall that information as readily as I could if I hand wrote my notes out. As it turns out, the physical act of writing your notes by hand helps you to remember the information better because writing involves a deeper cognitive processing than typing does. And make sure you use a lot of pretty ink too. Blue and red hues have been proven to improve concentration, attention span, and memory retention. Guys, if you haven't seen my video on must-have nursing school supplies, you have to check it out. I go into depth about all of my favorite nursing school supplies. 
I briefly touch on them in this two-part series, but if you want an in-depth review and links to where you can buy these items, you have to check out that video. Well, wait until after you watch this two-part series and then go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> on lecture days, I always brought along a legal pad, my blank note cards, a rainbow of gel pens, my PowerPoints, sticky notes, and a voice recording app that I downloaded on my iPhone. My sticky notes came in handy for jotting down questions or key terms that I needed to work on. So things that I wanted to keep with my notes, but not as a part of my notes. If you've seen my What's in My Nursing School Bag video, then you know that a friend of mine inspired me to bring blank note cards to class. You can really save yourself some time by creating flashcards for your next exam during your lecture. Just listen to key phrases from your instructor like, you need to know this, or this is important, because they are giving you more test answer freebies. Take advantage of the opportunity and create yourself a flashcard on the material right then and there. I highly, highly recommend that you record each and every one of your lectures. It's so easy to miss something that your instructor says during class due to a variety of different reasons. Remember, anything that is said in class is fair game and can show up on any future exams. But if you record your lectures, you will never miss a thing and you can listen to those recordings anytime. I made a habit of listening to my lectures anytime I was in the car, in the shower, and especially the night before an exam. I can't tell you how many times I've fallen asleep listening to a nursing school lecture, but I always felt prepared and my grades showed it. Look for part two of this study tip series. I got straight A's and I really wanna help you do your best too. I wanna to hear from you. Was this video helpful? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're not subscribed yet, do it now and hit the bell icon. That way you never miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching. I post new videos twice a week and I'd love to have you join me. Until next time. <laughs>